Can't you see what we're about? I see you at my door, wanting in, come back for more. But I don't want this anymore. Cause baby, we got issues. That was messed up. Like, you just pissed me off. Woo! I hope I get it. Yeah. Come at me. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and also I'm going to be reading the assumptions that you guys gave me. I asked you guys to write down a couple of assumptions that you guys had on me and I know that this is just like going all over YouTube right now so people might be even sick of watching it. Those of you guys who are, you guys don't need to watch it but those of you guys who actually left some of your guys' assumptions, I hope that I got to answer them and yeah. Just stay tuned to see if I answered some of the assumptions that you guys asked me. And the reason why I wanted to do a get ready with me along with that is because there are a couple of products that I've changed recently in my makeup routine. So I thought that you guys might be interested in that and yeah, it might be a little bit messy. <laughs> Because I am not the best at like multitasking and I learned that again today. I was like, man, I wish I was. But I hope that you guys like the video and while you guys are watching it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get with the video. So the first thing that I went in with is the MAC Prep and Prime. It actually has like a little bit of shine in it, like little pearls, like little glitters. It's not like too visible, but yeah, I went in with that. Now time to read your assumptions while I do my makeup. I don't know if it's gonna go well, but we'll see. So the first person that wrote is, you have really clean feet to put in those shoes you collect. I love collecting shoes. And it's true though, I, there are a lot of shoes that I collect but I don't end up wearing them um, and I don't know why, it's like why buy them when you're not even going to wear it. I don't know, they're just sitting in the shoe box, like my Concords that I recently bought too. It's like, I don't wear it because I'm just like too scared to wear them outside. It's the, it's the truth though. This cushion is super moisturizing, I love it. You only like buying brand name items. That is totally false. I buy items along a lot of different price ranges. To be honest, I like. I think I spend the most money on shoes. And um, I don't know. I'm the type of person like when I first like look at somebody, I look at their shoes. You know, like people might look at their clothes, but for me, I look at a person's shoes and. Yeah, I don't, I don't really just have like designer stuff. To be honest, I don't have like a lot, so I would say no to that. You are really rich. False. <laughs> I'm not really rich. Um, I'm rich in love and I'm rich in just happiness, but yeah. Because in the end, that's all that really matters, to be honest. Okay. Honestly though, I look so dead right now. I'm just gonna go in with my lips. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, uh oh. I've been into reds a lot these days. I don't know, I can never go wrong with red. Smooth out the edges. What else? You hate wearing high heels. I definitely hate wearing high heels. I, I can't. I try my best, but I just can't. Oh man, I forgot to bring the eyebrows. I'll be back. Okay. Your body time makes it hard for you to gain weight. Uh, that is true. I have trouble gaining weight, and I know people are like, oh my god, how is that possible? But it is like a stress of mine because I even like sometimes purposely eat late at night to try to gain weight but I don't and I do think that a part of it has to do with like having a lot of anxiety or kind of being like very uptight. I went to a doctor before and he told me I just use my brain consumes so much like energy in my body that I'm always just like thinking about stuff that it's just like really hard for me to gain weight. I don't even know if that makes sense but 
But ever since I was young, I had trouble gaining weight and I still do now. And I don't know, I think this is something that I struggle with. I know that there are a lot of people who might not like to hear that, but it's true. Like, I do have trouble gaining weight. Mm, what else? You have more guy friends than girlfriends. Uh, that is true. I think I've always, I have a lot more guy friends than girlfriends. Yeah. And. I don't know, I think it's just I vibe well with my guy friends. Not that I'm saying that I don't vibe well with like girlfriends at the same time, but I think there are different things that you can talk about and it's definitely more relaxing and very chill when I hang out with my guy friends. You tend to put others first even if it means putting your needs in the back burner. This is true, I do tend to take care of people around me sometimes more than myself but that is something that i'm working on and i actually just enjoy being there for people and taking care of people um and i think i'm finding a better balance at doing both so that is something that i'm working on in 2019 okay you prefer talking in english than hunger uh that is true i do prefer talking in english you have met bts Yes, I have met BTS before. Introverted? I don't know. For those of you guys who know me, might already know my Myers birth, but I am actually an extrovert, but when I took the test, it was very close. It was like 51, 49. So um, I would say that I'm in the middle, but it always depends. I love being around people, so that's just what I like to do. I get energy from people, but there are times when I feel like I need to recharge myself and just be home and like get in touch with myself, so I think that I'm both. Yes. Um, you would only consider dating Korean or Asian guys, maybe white. Uh, I'm actually open to dating any race that that doesn't have to just be like Korean or Asian people but I think out of all the people that I've dated have been Asian and Korean people because um, I'm always surrounded by it. Even going up, I was in a very Korean based city so I think that I was always just around like Korean or Asian people but I feel like the one thing that I really want is that I want them to speak English so I mean, anybody who speaks English, I am open. You're too scared to cut your long hair. Woo! I am too scared to cut my long hair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm, I just don't know. I think I do this all the time. It's like, I don't know if it's going to look good. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Nope. I'm too scared to cut it. Maybe in like the future future, but as of now, I like my long hair so yeah never knew you were an idol I always thought you were a model or a blogger model I am the furthest thing from being a model but um, I I think that a lot of people might think that I, I do understand that because my group was very underrated so when you're doing eyeliner I, I don't really like to talk because, you know, you gotta do well. So, I just finished my eyeliner. This is my favorite. My eyeliner and my mascara never change in my routine. It's been the same for like a good two, three years. So, I don't like using black mascara because I feel like it might look a little bit too strong for me sometimes. So, I like to use brown mascara and just brown eyeliner. Yeah, definitely try Kiss Me products. Another thing that I got is you want to get married soon. I do want to get married soon. For those of you guys who have watched my video with Grace, I said that I want to get married within five years. And I really do hope so because, you know, like a dream of mine is to just have a family. And yeah, it's something that I do think about, but not like 
like to a point where I'm like invested on that like getting married like I'm not like that I just want to get married at some point in my life and yeah sorry my camera got caught off the memory was full so I had to change it um, I think I was talking about if I preferred winter or what was my favorite season I definitely like fall the best and I like also spring winter was I hate winter I'm from California and I still can't adjust to Korean winter oh, it's so bad you are dating Alex I think I got this question like like at least 20 of these no I'm not we are just really good friends and yeah we just vibe really well I think that that's why a lot of people might think that but no we're just really good friends and yeah I hope he's doing well you look like Jisoo's long lost sister uh, I hate to say it myself but I do get that I look like Jisoo a lot I, I don't know why um, and I'm sorry to people who do not think that at all <laughs> But I don't know, I, I've heard from a lot of like people I think that I've looked like her But I think that's a compliment and I will take that compliment so Yeah You are cute and innocent on the outside but on the inside you are bad <laughs> No I think that I am like a super scaredy cat I have trouble telling people how I feel and I'm not really like good at being verbal of how I feel or just like confronting people I wish I was, I wish I was like real badass and be like Dude, that was messed up, like you just pissed me off Like I wish I could say that but I can't You're gonna be single on Valentine's Day I am gonna be single on Valentine's Day Yep Man, I wanted you guys to ask me like really hard like assumptions but All of them are so nice Thank you guys so much um, another thing is you are a really picky eater. I am a picky eater and that's why my mom always tells me like that's because that's why you can't gain weight and I think for me is that I there aren't foods that I can't eat but I just don't like it if it's like really disgusting. I know that there are people like even if it tastes bad they'll keep on eating it but for me I'm like Oh, like I just really don't want to eat it like if it tastes bad, you know, and I think that's like something that Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't like eating food that tastes gross You have dated someone while you were an idol or you're dating someone right now I have dated people when I was an idol and I think I've said that um, when I was doing the video with grace for never have I ever dated an idol so if you guys are curious to if I've dated while I was an idol, or who like, or how many people I've dated while I was an idol, please go to that video. I will link it up right there so that you guys can know how many people it was. I think I'm done with my makeup. Yeah. I like. You don't like egg yolk, but actually cute without being asked. I'm just kidding. Uh, I would say that I don't have a lot of egg yolk to guys. I think that I have more egg yolk to girls. Um, yeah, I think that's how it is. When it should be like the total opposite. You actually miss your K-pop idol days. Um, sometimes, yes, but I think that most of the time, if I were to go back into it, I don't think I would go back into it. Yeah, I don't think so. You are the youngest kid in your family. That is correct. I am the youngest kid in my family. I have an older brother and we are 12 years apart, which is just pretty crazy. Even every time I tell people, I'm like, oh yeah, that's how much like we have an age gap. And it's so crazy because we have the same Chinese zodiac sign. We're like both the year of the dog. And it's just so crazy. And I think that growing up, I definitely didn't have a lot of like things that I could relate to with my brother. Because if you think about it, I was 6 and he was 18. So there wasn't really much that a 6 year old and an 18 year old could actually really talk about. Or like engage in like a conversation. But I think that definitely now I am a lot closer to my brother than I was back then so yeah if you're watching opa hi <laughs> i don't think he watches my videos 
probably is not his cup of tea. I assume that you will get Jordan 6s on Saturday. Yes, I am going to get Jordan 6s. Depending on when this goes up, it's probably going to be really close. So I'm super excited for that. Woo! I hope I get it. I hope I get the Jordan 6s. <sighs> I don't know. I just really want it. You are good at dancing than singing. That is wrong. I personally like to sing more than I like to dance, and I am more confident in singing than dancing. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I didn't have a lot of training experience, or I didn't train for a really long time. So for me, even though I was always like singing ever since I was growing up, I think that for me, it took me a really long time to actually like know how to use my body while I was dancing so definitely I would say I'm better at singing than dancing yeah I assume that you are assuming that I am assuming something about you assuming what? I am assuming that you are assuming that I am assuming about something you're assuming so you're saying that I'm assuming something yeah 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 you have a secret boyfriend uh i do not have a secret boyfriend <laughs> i have like no guys in my life right now so yeah single your favorite color is pink and your favorite food is sushi um my favorite food is tacos and sushi those are like my top two and my favorite color i would have to say is white i know that people are gonna be like white isn't a color um i like white or hmm like blue you have men throwing themselves at you i don't have anyone throwing themselves at me dear lord <sighs> yeah come at me <laughs> This girl must be the type to know what they want. Um, I'm definitely in the stage of learning things that I want and just even in my relationship with friends or just my lifestyle or just how I want to be like myself. And I think that's something that I'm just learning and going from. Um, even from last year, I think that I would say that within the time span of a year, I've changed a lot in the type of person that I am or I feel like I'm just growing and I'm usually the type of person who doesn't really know what I want and um, yeah, I think I'm definitely learning. Yeah, for sure. That you are one of those people who look virtually the same without makeup. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that I look very different, um, but yeah, I don't think I look like the same. You prefer cats over dogs? No, I am a dog lover. I love dogs. Um, for those of you guys who are wondering which dog that I like is a Shetland Sheepdog. I go crazy whenever I see Shetland Sheepdogs, like my heart like beats so fast and I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I get a Shetland Sheepdog because I want a Shetland Sheepdog in the future I want two Shetland Sheepdogs so yeah it's just gonna be like such a happy life I'm so jealous of people who you know have dogs because for me ever since I was young growing up I always wanted a dog but my mom was allergic to just fur so I never got to take care of dogs and now like it's been 24 years and I don't have a dog but I definitely want a show and shoot dog they're so cute I love them you're good with little kids because I get a kindergarten teacher vibe from you I don't know mmm I really do like kids and I do want kids in the future um I don't know if I'm gonna be like good at taking care of kids because I don't really like meet a lot of kids but I really do like kids and I hope that I'll be you know good at taking care of kids one day in the future dear god you make friends so easily i think that's 50 percent true 
Depending on the type of person it is, um, I can approach them easier and there are people that I have more trouble approaching. I think that's more on like the first vibe or like impression I get from them. There are some people who scare me sometimes. <laughs> like, so I don't know what to say, but there are people who are very like easygoing and I think that that's when I tend to open up more and I am a little bit more like talkative and I can engage in the conversation. But I think it depends. Yeah. As I got six chicken nuggets are your favorite meal. If we're talking about um, McDonald's, my favorite meal is a Big Mac with french fries inside them. I get the Big Mac and then I put french fries inside the Big Mac. I should try it. It's really good. So I think that that's pretty much it. I think I've read most of your guys' assumptions or the ones that I didn't even read out loud, I did read them. If I didn't answer, you know, yours, I'm very sorry. I tried to answer as much as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I feel like it was a little bit messy because I was trying to do two things at once, which was a total fail because I can't do two things at once. But I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you are alert every time a new video is up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So goodbye.